I think I look at the future from a standpoint of, of the probabilities. It's like, it's like a branching stream of probabilities. And there are actions that we can take that affect those probabilities um, or that accelerate one thing or slow down another thing, or make, you know, introduce something new to the probability stream. Um, sustainable energy will happen no matter what. If there was no Tesla, if Tesla never, never existed, it, it would have to happen out of necessity. It's tautological. Um, if, if, you, until you, if you don't have sustainable energy, it means you have unsustainable energy. Eventually, you'll run out, um, and the, the, the uh, laws of economics will drive, uh, will drive civilization towards sustainable energy, inevitably. The, 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 the fundamental value of a company like Tesla is the degree to which it, it accelerates the advent of sustainable energy. Uh, if it accelerated that by a decade, potentially more than a decade, that would be quite a good thing to occur. Um, then there's becoming a multi planet species and space faring civilization. This is not inevitable. It's very important to appreciate this is not inevitable. The sustainable energy future, I think, is largely inevitable, uh, but being a space faring civilization is definitely not inevitable. If you look at the, uh, at the, the progress in space, in 1969, we were able to send somebody to the moon. 1969. Then we had the, the space shuttle. The, the space shuttle could only take people to low Earth orbit. Then the space shuttle retired, and the United States could take no one to orbit. The, so that's the trend. The trend is like down to nothing. This is not. People are mistaken when they think that technology just automatically improves. It does not automatically improve. It, it only improves if a lot of people work very hard to make it better. And actually, it, it will, I think, it by itself, degrade, actually. Mm -hmm. You look at great civilizations like ancient Egypt, and they were able to make the pyramids, and they forgot how to do that. And, and the Romans, they built these incredible aqueducts. They forgot how to do it. There, if there are two futures, and one future is we're out there among the stars, and the things we read about and see in science fiction movies, the good ones, are true. We have these starships, and we're, we're going to see what other planets are like. And we're a multi-planet species, and the scope and scale of consciousness has expanded across many civilizations and many planets and many star systems. This is a great future. This is a wonderful thing, and that's what we should strive for. <laughs>